Hello, everyone. I'm Frank Jernigan, and this is the weekly meeting of the Franco Sweater Knitters. Welcome, everyone. Hi, Wally. Hello, Frank. Hi, Mary. Hello. Hi, Jenny. Hello, everyone. Hi, Sammy. Hi. Hi, Serena. Hello there. Hi, Will. Hi, everybody. Hi, Judith. Hello, everyone. Is everybody, uh, or is anybody, I know Judith is, is anybody besides Judith and I take, partaking of the TKGA uh, conference? Serena? Yeah, yeah, I just switched it off. I was kind of behind on one of them and listening to it, but I wanted to come say hi, so. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I I was doing the same thing. I was a little bit behind, and so uh didn't finish that session. It was very interesting on Scandinavian knitting. Oh, that's what I was listening. Oh, is that right? It I wasn't was that like, interesting. The wealth of information was just crazy. It was. It is. I'm really enjoying it. And Judith, you were in Suzanne Bryan's session this morning where I was assisting. That's right. And um, I couldn't say hi to you because I didn't see a way to do it privately but I appreciated you saying hi. It was okay. I understood. <laughs> it was a <laughs> wonderful class. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. On stitch she, equivalency. Right. She has a way of, uh, I don't know, uh, bringing, bringing joy in the learning process, I would say. Yeah. So, Surprisingly, I, I don't know if that, because she, she's very, I wouldn't say rigid, uh, she, she's very organized. I would not say strict, but, you know, well organized, and, but uh, there's still joy in learning yes. with what she is teaching. So, she's and, an excellent, wonderful teacher. Yeah. What is uh, equivalency? What is that? I'm sorry? What is stitch equivalency? You said um, when you use when your your pattern you use two different patterns, say, and they don't have the same gauge, but you want to knit them at the same time or connect them, and so how do you do that? And for example, if you have a cable that is um, a two by two cable, four stitches wide. And it ends and you continue in stockinette. The stockinette, uh, the four stitches will be um, wider, yeah. too wide. The cable is pulled in. Yeah. And um, so how do you make the equivalent number of stick stockinette stitches to the cables so that there's not cable flare? But that was just one occurrence of it. The other is things like putting a garter stitch border on a stockinette stitch fabric. Like if your um, button band is done in garter stitch, the row, the row uh, gauge does not match the row gauge of the stockinette. So you have to add um, some short rows in, in, the, in the garter stitch to um, help it uh, not bunch up the stockinette or or have other in, um, consequences that you don't want. Oh, okay. So it was how it was how to calculate where to put the short rows or where to put the increases and the decreases and things like that. So how what is the equivalency between one fabric of gauge and another gauge of another fabric? I hadn't, I hadn't heard it called equivalency before, but uh, okay. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. There's one book I have on cables that mm -hmm. formalizes it. They call it, um, I think they call it SES, stockinette equivalency stitches or stitch equivalence stockinette. I don't know, but the SE, they call it SES. And so... For every cable uh, pattern in that book, they also tell how many stockinette stitches would be equivalent to that width. 
which actually should be determined by yourself to make sure it's correct. Yes, depending on what your, your gauge is, yeah. Well, hi, Cindy. Hi, Frank. And hi, Good Sidra. Good to see everybody. Hi, Frank. Hello. Yes, we missed you last week, Cindy. Yeah, I missed you guys too. Had a couple of the grandkids here. Jerry went to a softball tournament with one over in Eastern Washington, and I had a couple of the others that stayed here. Yeah. So we had a rowdy time. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen you in a few weeks, Serena. Thank you. Welcome back. Thanks. Yes. I wanted to squeeze it in today. <laughs> yes. I've been missing you guys. So, Cindy, I, I suppose you're in the TKG, TKGA Next Level Conference, right? I am, yeah. I just just finished um, the woman um, that does brand and design. She was doing all about all these different fair own and color work stuff. And the Scandinavian, stuff. the Scandinavian well, design class. There was some, but it, this was not the Scandinavian one. This oh. was like all the different ones. So she does some that it's actually fair isle with intarsia for portions of it, oh. um, and it's like amazing. Oh, I have to see that class. It was that really, really, really good. And it was like, oh, because she had a um, one that it looked like fair owl patterns, but then it had like birds and grapes and all sorts of, I mean, it was just magnificent. And who, whose Things class that I, was that? Uh, I believe the woman is Varian Brandon, B-A-R-I-A-N, and it's Brandon Designs. Okay. And hi, Ron. Hello. Hey. Hi. Nice to see you. Everyone. How's everyone? Good. 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 How are your How are your arms from last week? I watched the video when you were just like <laughs> pulling and pulling and pulling. I said on Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, nice. Very nice. nice. So good. Yeah, good. Reese gained them on what he refers to as the wheel of despair. <laughs> <laughs> running, oh, running things through the rescainer. It's like sitting this close to like an old reel to reel. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. Comes off of a swift and on to another swift. Um, but because they were all wonky, he had to use the hand wound hand one mm -hmm. rescainer or upright swift rather than um the the motorized one. But luckily, plenty skeins. Tim, where's the Remote control, then you can see everyone's shiny face. Uh, yeah, so we are we are up to our elbows in local yarn stores. I have preparations. Uh, you can see how stained my hands are. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! <laughs> so, um, lots of new colors. So it looks like it looks like blue green is big this year, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure is. Yeah, yeah. An old bruise or circulation problem. <laughs> um, I call this colorway cyanosis. <laughs> um, fun, 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 fun. Yes. <clears throat> one of the one of the stores here. Well, I say here. It's it's an hour or two away. Um, but they have a squirrel swift. Has anybody seen one of those before? No. It's like uh. the swift goes up and down like this. And she has it, the husband, her husband built it onto the end of the table, like where you check out. And so the, it, the, the skeins get on this way instead of like I mean I have an umbrella swift and you know it mm -hmm. goes around that's what I'm used to but this one is just a long skinny thing and then um it it winds from that but I'd never seen that and you can then adjust it as far apart or as close together as need be mm. it they really liked it and said it worked really good but I've never heard of it before but they called it a squirrel swift mm. like never. like a squirrel Yes, like squirrel, like that. So I don't huh. know if it was kind of like that. It was like, oh, the squirrel would run around in the wheel or something. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> Up and down a if tree. That was why, if that's just why the name was, I, I don't know. I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah, I hadn't either, but I have seen it in person, and it works really well. Uh, well. If you'd all like, at some point in the meeting, we can show off our work this week. We've got a bunch of yarn 
simmering outside and on the dry rats if if you're interested Ooh, in looking at fun. that that whole process that is kind of cool yeah. when is, when is lys about, day uh next weekend next next, next week. saturday the 27th i guess okay cool <laughs> yeah today's the 20th yeah, yeah. so next saturday 27th yeah. so chances are there is a local yarn store near you that probably has some kind of specials new stuff we unveil our our spring dye runs on local yarn store day mm -hmm. um but yeah stores all over the all over the continent cool. uh do it and mm -hmm. so uh, uh, it's not only in the states no there are canadian shops who do it who participate as oh. well um in fact, Judith, I was thinking of you earlier. I am dying oh, up a special I'm order touched. for uh, for someone who dropped into the shop and saw one of our yarns that she liked, but we didn't have quite enough for a sweater. So I'm literally dying up uh, more of this this copper color for her right now. But oh, she was pretty. visiting uh, one of her friends here in California. They were traveling back up from Los Angeles up to San Francisco, uh, but she was in from Montreal. Oh. Ah. Ah. Mm. So, it's like my life will be full of the Quebecois today <laughs> yes <laughs> I found this oh yeah oh, oh ah. wow the oh. squirrel cage swift this one's in walnut it, it only looks like $410 a dollars. yeah Ooh. it looks well, like a was... torture engine no, hers <laughs> Hers was made of, um, it looked like pine, and it didn't have any feet because it was actually attached to the side of the desk. I see. But the, oh, then the side, then each little round thing would go, you could adjust it up or down to make the things go farther and it, apart or closer together. Uh, and it looks and like it, they turn as the as the balls they get do. around. Right. Yeah, I have yes, a friend who do. has that. Yeah. Do they say good things about it? Do they say anything about it or it's just their life and they don't think about it? No, she loves it. So I think she hers is either attached to the table or she can attach it to her door. Oh wow. You know. Huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one. They were they were running it really fast to to spin it or to um, say, to wind it. Yeah, it was running really fast. So. Like, it's not like an umbrella. Can you guys hear Tim? Yes, yeah. it's not yeah. like yeah. an umbrella. No, no uh -uh. It, so he was saying it looks like it would be durable because they're just like fewer moving parts, fewer things rubbing and this up was, against one another. This was kind of her thing that it's 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 durable, it's fast. It was really easy to adjust for the different sizes of schemes that they were trying to to wind in their shop. <gasps> Please. But. Now Tim wants one. <laughs> I bet I bet if Tim goes on YouTube, there are some some little patterns or videos about how to make your own yeah, yeah. probably yeah and it's he's very handy he college. does he does all the little he does all the little um animals so uh, he he understands 3d thing 3d modeling yeah it's true <laughs> well his birthday's february 18th so it already passed <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> so what's the next little is there is there a knitting holiday you know coming up? Worldwide Knit and Public Day is in June or July, one of those J months, um, which is nice for here because it's only like 105, 110 degrees on that day. <laughs> um, so worldwide knit in the walk-in freezer day would be better for us <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be good well you know you could just go to the grocery store to the ice cream section and yeah. knit there that's right. good um so like the, the big events the uh worldwide knit and public day in the early summer whenever that is local yarn store day in april march is crochet month mm. um so that was last month you missed it <laughs> yeah, we missed that one. Dang. Um, the, the Tim celebrated. It's true. 
Tim, do you want to get your caveman before we have to go load out yarn? <laughs> Tim finishes caveman, if you don't mind seeing. Oh, it. boy. Oh. oh, yes. We saw the hair the last time I was yep. here. Yes, I, he had I hair. really like the hair. Now he has a loincloth <laughs> and a purse, too. Ooh. And a whole body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, oh, he's darling. There he is. <laughs> that is uh, the loincloth is perfect. The pattern it looks included like it's made out of little animal skin. Uh, the the pattern included like a little hand at for a rock or yeah, just like uh, two different rocks and a wheel and a little wheel and half an axle. <laughs> oh, very uh, cool. Because you know how prehistoric man always carried around a wheel and an axle. Wow. <laughs> well, somebody had to carry one around at first. Yeah. That'd be a good name for him, Axel. Axel. That's <laughs> now, the invention of the wheel isn't too revolutionary. It's the invention of the axle that gets you somewhere. That's right. <laughs> But were you talking about the next level when I came in? Yeah, we were just talking about who was there and what we've enjoyed. Have you been in it? No, I have not. I have. I would have liked to check some of the things out, but the way my schedule worked out, I couldn't catch any of it live. But um, no, unfortunately not. So I was interested to hear. Well, let me share something with the world or, well, everyone who sees this video this week who may be interested in knowing this secret. Um, because of the TKGA Next Level Knitting Conference, of which I am one of the sponsors, Franco Designs is one of the sponsors, we have reduced, we have we have a coupon that you can enter and it will reduce the price of your pattern to $4. Oh, wow. No matter how many fits you have. And Ooh. the code to enter is TKGA2024. <laughs> TKGA2024. And that code will work as many times as you want until uh, sometime at the end of the week, Friday or Saturday. So if you're watching this video, oh, even if you're not in the conference, you can get the conference special by entering that code. Oh. Oh my! Sorry, Frank. Is that case sensitive? The code. What's that? Is the code case sensitive? No, it's not. Hey, easy peasy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh, the other special announcement is. Uh, I made the video of uh, Ladderback Jacquard available to anyone who wants to see it. Mm -hmm. it. It used to be only available to people who had the link. And the only way you could get the link is if you subscribe to my newsletter. And I gave the link in that newsletter mm -hmm. um, about three weeks ago. But now it is public. And if you go to uh, Knitting by Franco on YouTube, you will find uh, the new um, video on uh, everything you ever wanted to know and more about Ladderback Jacquard. Oh. Very cool. So those are my two special announcements for anyone who sees this video this week. Judith, are you going to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just guessed on. Oh, yay, yes. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Six beautiful stitches on the middle of the <laughs> What is that? Is, is that are Barbie? you all impressed with my work? Oh, no. <laughs> is that a Barbie hat? <laughs> no, but, but yes, 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 yes. But but here's my sweater. 
<laughs> I, I just won't work on it because I've uh, I've done the um, color band, so it's uh, supposed to be uh, folded and Wait, sewed yeah. inside. Inside, beautiful. And mm. I didn't want to do that while talking to you. It was too much no. for my brain. I have to pick <laughs> up stitches inside. I want it to be aligned. Uh, but uh, there, this is where I am. This is beautiful, uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. looking good. Brand. Looking good. That's lovely. Mm. And, and I like, I like that you find it's distracting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, speaking but, of, um, yeah, the the error I I had in my. Uh, in my stitch pattern, and I say had, uh, I I had to rip everything because uh, oh it was God. too small anyway. So, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> oh wow! But I was going to uh, knit anyway with that uh, that little error. But well, <laughs> so you had to start <laughs> all over. Yep. Oh dear, you did it. That's congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, look how far she got with it. Too. Oh, Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Who else wants to show us what they're working on? Well, I wanted to ask kind of a question to people because I'm just figuring this thing out. And, you know, you, you only knit for 30 years and you learn something new every day, right? right. So <laughs> <laughs> I had lost my place on my sweater uh, panel, right? And I had to like rip it way back now a ripping back stranded color work is enough to make you want to you know so um i'm like how can i not lose track of where i am on this pattern and then i saw this thing on the internet which you gotta love youtube um of uh a way to use a scrap Are yarn as a stitch marker. Uh, uh, yes. And it's like a row counter. So I started it at my decrease where it's every three. And so every third row, I just move it back, move it back, and then it knits in. And it counts my rows on my threes. And then I can use it also to count uh, my stitches left to right and I don't have to worry about pressing a button or what did I put you know on my uh knit companion you know if I yeah. if I get lost so now I can put my work down and I can pick it up and I can say oh I'm one two three four five six seven eight I'm on my ninth set of decreases by three but, oh wow, that is so cool, and it's so simple. Yeah. And the other advantage of that is when you're ready to take it out, you just pull it the thread out. Pull. You don't have a yeah. whole bunch of removable yeah. markers to pull out if, if yeah. you use that technique. It's so I was very like, easy wow, to that... recover. So hmm. I've never done it before. Have any of you? No. I did something similar in to keep track of where I am and complicated amigurumi. Oh yeah. Mm. Am I muted? No, I'm not muted. Am I? No, we hear you. No, no. We no, hear you. No, yeah, but apparently my face that... is right behind you, <laughs> taking up the whole screen. <laughs> <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? But but how cool! I thought, yeah. wow, yeah. what a great technique. Just a traveling stitch marker with the scrap yarn. I've used a similar technique with a with scrap yarn when I'm casting on stitches and you pass it back and forth, say every 10 stitches. And then um, that helps you know that you've counted 10 stitches between each time it mm. passed back and forth. Um, the alternative that I've used is removable stitch markers or even non-removable stitch markers, and you have to remember to remove them the next time you go around, <laughs> at, or removing them, them by unhooking them is also a problem. But just pulling that thread out is 
is instant. And it's a really good way of keeping track of how many stitches you've cast off. Yeah, because I just have found a wasted a lot of time trying to figure out where was I. And I'm like, oh, and that was after I had to, so now I had to correct a mistake and drop it down. Well, where do I pick it up? So it it just, it, it really, yeah, it's, what a nice way to keep track of things. That's great. Thanks for the tip. Yeah. Um, I can hear me twice. I'm in here you, twice. You are on twice. One of them is my phone. I would, our, our <laughs> little, uh, that's me. Uh, our timer's gone off to check the dye pot. So I want to know if you wanted to have a field trip. <laughs> we, yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Sure, sure. Okay, let me start my video here. Now, which one do I increase spotlight? The one that I'm in right now. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's go see what Tim's doing. All day slaving over a hot stove. <laughs> and dyeing yarn. How warm yeah. is it there right now? Warm. Oh, look at that sky. <laughs> mm. Beautiful. Blue and unforgiving and 30 degrees. Mm. So what, whatever that is in Fahrenheit, warm, warm enough to be warm. Okay, let me turn around. How do I do it? If it's a phone, lower right. There oh, we there go. We go. Yes, now we see Tim. Oh, Tim has a tip. There he is. Here's, yes, it's our, it's our tent, so we can do as Hi, much. Tim. As Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Here he is. Play. Spaghetti Ooh. sauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this, is, this is our special order for your neighbor from Montreal. Mm. <laughs> She has great taste. Yeah, a bright <laughs> blue. So these are a tweed with sort of natural color specks in them. It's a yarn that we've been in our lineup for a while that we're drawing some new colors of. And then over here is our treat for a local yarn store today. Wow. Oh, mm. oh, oh wow. Nice. little speckles. Oh, Multicolored wow. speck. Oh, I like that. that. so pretty. Nice. So yeah, we've I love done this yellow. in sort of like bright candy colors. Or mm -hmm. as we refer to them, Tim colors. Oh wow! So, oh, on the black. Oh, those are so fun. pretty. Mm. So now, just a lot of. Black. How? Mm. How do you dye just the specks? So the specks are um, spun into the yarn in a non-protein fiber, so they are already that color. And they don't take the acid dye, which just dyes protein fibers. Oh. I love this aqua color. We yeah, that's great. That's yeah. really nice. So these are just sort of something fun and bright. And then there's a helicopter. Why? <laughs> 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 Interrupting me. <laughs> um, so just bright. Fun. So this is one of our specials for local yarn store day. And here's how Tim fishes out the yarn. So when we get the yarn prepped, uh, parents come and then he burns himself and this causes one, nerve damage. This one boiled a little bit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, you need so, extra tongs. Thank you. No. Just leave it for a moment. Here, hold this. So parents' contribution is tying in these little ties. Oh wow! And those, those are cotton strings, so a they keep the yarn from tangling up too much. They keep the skeins where you can get them out, and uh, because they're cotton, they stay bright white in the yeah. acid dye. Oh wow! Yeah. So you can oh. see them uh, when you pull the yarn out. Uh huh. Hey, he did it. He extricated it. Got it. And never no. you mind what's going on in here. How many how many ties do you put on each skein? Depending on how big the batch is going to be between two and three. And okay. sometimes they come from the mill with a cotton marking tie in them, and we just use that as mm -hmm. one of our ties. Yeah. So between two and three. Very so that's how they come cool. out. Those are so cool. That's so cool. That's Does the fun. black one have... Mm. Um, Flex of all the colors of the other one, so you could pair it up if you wanted um 
a black and a color with does it have the flex in so that looks like this one black? this one has natural colored flex oh okay so it's brown black cream tan versus the multicolored right sugar cereal <laughs> but the, the black had flex too didn't it the yeah. black yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah see, uh, well, I, I love about that. One. I like I like it's, the black and the pink together. That's, that's what cool. I mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's got mm -hmm. the pink pops in. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's got pink it bits in it. I like so that. It, it goes and we well, leave yeah. one natural. So there's there's a black and a and a, a white, a natural. It's just not out here because we didn't dye it. And so you <laughs> see, it's neat because um, it's particularly when you mix them up, you don't see the pink specks in the pink. No, and you don't see the yellow specks in the yellow. Oh, you don't see the blue specks in the blue. Oh, so they all have the oh. same color specks to start with. Yep. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. I yeah. I would never have guessed that from looking yeah. at them. So that's part of what informed the color scheme. Ah, okay. And see the green fades in here. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know. Something fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes. very nice. And so can people, and, hey, Ron, can people, yes. can people order that yarn online? So these will make their way onto our website uh, yeah. shortly after local yarn store day. And uh, your website is? Thetwistedskein.com. All right. That's where you can find us. All right. Well, we're going to finish this up and we'll see you back inside. Okay. Yes. See you later. Don't have too much fun without us. We're smoking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. That is a lot of work to die. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Sidra, I just got a peek at your <laughs> My blanket. Your blanket. You want to show us what you're doing? Uh, I went back to it. Um, oh my gosh, it's so neat. I love it. It's it fun to watch you make progress on it too. Ah. Is it <laughs> double so. Oh wow, that's wonderful. Oh, oh that it's so a bookshelf. So what it's bookshelf is that? Beautiful. And mm -hmm. is it double knitting? Yes. Double knitting. It is going to be such a heavy blanket. <laughs> Warm, <laughs> very warm. Yeah. Weighted blankets are in. Yes, yes, they are. Yeah. My meme, when I was growing up, had what we used to call a Canadian blanket, and it was this really heavy, really like what you feel a weighted blanket is right now. But growing up, we always had these rag blankets. She wove rags together really tightly. And it just, it kept you so warm and cozy. It was something. I'm back in the AC. I missed that blanket. <laughs> it was every color on the universe. Yeah, what is it in Fahrenheit over there? I don't know. It's like 90, maybe? It's um, 81 here, and I'm about an hour away from Ron. 84, 85. 85. Oh, wow. Mm. 90. 90. There you go. Next week, I think we're probably going to hit 90. Yeah. We, were, we were in the 90s last week for like a day yeah. before a storm came in. We were close, but we didn't. So we didn't. The barometric pressure is like, meh, 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 and every joint in my body went. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was going to show you guys. This is a, a kilogram of the yarn before it goes yeah. in the dock. Okay. Oh, oh wow. nice. That is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. So yeah, the the neps are pre-dyed and just they don't take um acid dye. Very cool. That's neat. Yeah, that's fun. And so is that a superwash worsted? It looks worsted weight. It's uh it's two hundred and thirty yards over a hundred grams. So, so somewhere well, between what you'd call a DK and a worsted, you could get away with okay. calling it a heavy DK or a light worsted. Okay. 
we market it or we label it as a DK because we have an Aaron weight of the same uh, oh, okay. structure. Okay. But the the DK is by uh, far and away the the most popular one. You've got it's got real fans. I know one of my one of my friends has like three sweaters and two shawls made up of it. Um, we also dyed up a bunch of mini skeins. This isn't a mini skein, but in the in the natural colors. So mm -hmm. we've been at it. You've been busy. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And my my arms have not forgiven me from <laughs> and, um the mini skeins I dyed in uh baggies rather than immersion dyeing them in pots. Uh which is the dye and some some acid solution uh, and uh, the mini skeins in a baggie that we left out in the sun while it was 90 oh. degrees mm. and oh. you know they, ah. they get all foggy inside <laughs> and then they exhaust this so we saved on the gas and it saved a lot of water that's oh. a good idea and powering down So who else is working on something to show us? Cindy, it's your turn. Well, I, I have my my um my happiness sweater is finally finished. finished. It. It's yes. so good. That's why I didn't yes. finish it. And so yes. I really, Great. really, really, really enjoy it. And it's cozy because it's been really cold here. We've even been getting frost some mornings, but then it's really? getting up to mid 50s to 60. Mm. in the in the afternoon it's supposed to rain today um but it's it's been nice and so in the morning i get up and i pop it on and i'm cozy and warm and i like it would it be too much to ask you to stand up so we can see it <laughs> well, you can try you can, I don't know you, I can say, you can say <laughs> i'd rather I not get, i can't get back very far <laughs> please please jerry's please. bringing in food for me he's been in charge of uh food for why I'm doing the TKGA conference. So we had, um, let's see, yesterday we had donuts in the hospitality room and <laughs> I want a chicken one croissant hint. salad. Well, this morning we had fresh hot bagels. Oh my <laughs> Lord. Yeah. So this, is, mm -hmm. this is what it's like. Oh, oh, nice. oh, oh isn't that you great? Oh, it yeah. turned out really nice. It turned yes. out really wow. Nice. And I just, I just love the cozy. It's so yeah. cozy. Yes. Can you tell yes. us about the, the seaming? Yeah. The finishing? Can I tell them about the seaming? Mm -hmm. Let's see where it is here. No. <laughs> yeah, you really can't see it. It's too so neat. Side, you can't see it. Is the side it. seam a seam or is that a faux? No, it's all seamed. It's all seamed. It's um, the back is a big rectangle. The fronts are um, two long rectangles, and then the sleeves are rectangles here. And this and, is the kimono um, that Mary has shared, right? Yes, it is. Uh huh. And then you pick up around the around the neckline. I did do short rows in here because I wanted a bigger neck. Uh, I wanted a bigger shawl collar. So, uh -huh. and then you do. Um, for four inches, you pick up all the way around and then knit this way for that part. Mm -hmm. so Cindy, bit, yeah, was yes, your Mary? that short? My pattern was longer in the back. Well, no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm I'm five six, but I have really short legs, and I wanted I wanted it to be shorter and a little more cross. Okay, so all I right. just made it the length that I wanted it to be. Yes, okay. the pattern specified that it was quite a bit longer, but I wanted a short one, particularly for like when I'm sitting, I want it to, to cover and like come wow. down to the, it, it comes down to the seat, but I don't sit on it. And, right, right. Um, so that was, that was what I wanted. So I just made it my, the size I wanted. You can see the seam here. Right. Um, but the pat the, the the pattern does match up. Well, it's kind of a mattress stitch. You use um, like the smile on one side and the frown on the other. So you're doing like 
a half of a stitch and one and a half stitch on the other side so that it all matches up so the so the garter continues across right and the the sides are that way too and everything so i like that yeah. the length very much well it's a really wearable length for me mm -hmm. um and it's cozy particularly when i'm sitting a bunch of stuff i don't want to be sitting on it um mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I want it to just to just come to there. And then the other thing I did, I have to show you, this is a funny, funky little doll is wearing it. I did the, the shifty She's wearing it. Oh. 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 So, so did that. And this one, I had, I had never done the mosaic stuff before, and I had a hard time getting started and figuring out how to do it. And it wasn't the pattern part it was or it wasn't the stitch pattern itself it was that you're having to increase decrease and do the um it's it's got the i cord edging on all of it oh mm -hmm. mm. yeah and so that was i was finding it confusing because it was changing every row for that and finally though i figured out what i was doing and and it worked and it was fine but the pattern was nicely written. It was me that was having a problem. So very nice. Mm. And I'm and I'm working on my second chicken. Another anatomical chicken. Yeah. Well, yeah, she saw the first one. She's all done. She's good. The the, the anatomically correct. <laughs> 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 Notice she has really actually hen waddles and not turkey waddles, which were the ones specified in the pattern. But I didn't like that. So, <laughs> so that's that's what I've been doing along with a bunch of little grandkids. That's oh, a lot. It, the kimono, you guys, is um, is the only shaping you did the short rows. It is otherwise just rectangles. Yes, it is just rectangles, and the short rows were not specified in the yeah, pattern. Yeah, you, you added those. I I just wanted more in the the neck. Um, at my age, my shoulders are a little weird, and and I like it to actually come up and not be not be down. And so I just added those myself. But yeah, it's just it's just plain rectangles. I did it. I started it one because Mary was doing it, and it looked like kind of a interesting cool pattern but yeah. also it was like there's days when a bunch of crap is going on in life and i just wanted it's like just give me garter stitch just give me something straight because i still want to be knitting but i can't be counting i can't be right. <laughs> uh, I decreasing or whatever i just needed some i, I needed a simple project to, to pick up and do um at certain times and so that's and i love this yarn and so pretty this yarn it's like you don't want to do anything busy yeah um, right it, it's, it's busy really enough. well thank you mm -hmm. yeah. well I and i did uh, well i followed the pattern but i didn't follow the pattern um, uh, <laughs> uh my gauge was not their gauge and i was going to use this yarn because this was the yarn snob in the happiness color and so I took the schematic, I measured another sweater that I had that I that was the right size. And it's like, okay, I need to make this size from their schematic. And then I figured out how many stitches I needed to cast on for the different pieces to get it to be that size. So that's how I did it. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you, Mary. Yes. And I have a little bit left, a couple of little bitty balls. Um, uh, one of the kids wants a scarf, so I'll be knitting a little garter scarf for her with that. Perfect. Yep, very flattering. It looks great on you. Mm, yeah, it does. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I just I just love the colors and and it is really cheery. I just I just feel good when I wear it.
Okay, tell well, two more cards. people in the community are knitting the kimono. Oh, oh cool. Oh, really? So Friends it's been very it. popular here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's real easy. It's a it's a real easy thing to wear too. You just kind of throw it on and do, and and it does. Um, I mean, you could you could dress it up with jewelry or doing something like that, but um, and of course, depending on which yarn you choose, it would look more dressy or less. But it's it's just a very wearable design. Wally, what are you working on? I'm playing like Franco does. I'm experimenting. Oh. So, oh, so that sweater I always wanted to try. I'm trying it. Wow. And wow. Uh, it's all pearled except for the, the ridges. They knit one below. The pattern was for four pieces, but I'm trying to do it in the round. And the way it's set up is that you do the first round and you do the knit one below and then you had to turn the work and then you knit all back. So what I'm doing is I'm knitting the one below one round and then I got to remember to knit the whole, the pearl, the whole row back. So, but it's all pearls. So there's no knits in here. It's, I tried doing it on the inside, knitting it and then. Yeah. Doing the pearl one below, but I didn't like how that worked. So that's what I'm doing. Very clever. So, yeah. Yeah. That's me to 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 create and just try new things. Yeah. Isn't you know, I you know, it's like I don't particularly like the yarn. I think I would like to get the cascade 220 because it would be thicker. This is a DK with it's acrylic and wool, but it's mm -hmm. it's light. Very light, so yes, you know. Does I'm it fine. does it come when you block it? Yeah, I'm wondering when I block it, I'll, I'll maybe it'll it'll straighten out. So if it doesn't, well, that's okay too. <laughs> I'll just find another set of yarn I want. So that's what I'm working on. And it teaches you how to pearl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very much. Uh. So and Jenny, uh, Jenny, what about you? Um, I just have you take, I just have a, a pair of uh, stripy socks on the go. Oh fun. Oh, yeah. Oh. Great. Oh, look at that. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, they're cute. And, yeah. and are they oh, zeros? Sorry, are they what? Are they zeros? Oh, <laughs> double or triple zeros, yeah. Oh, my. Triple zeros. <laughs> one, one point, one point two five. what's that? Triple zero? Yeah, that's a zero. Yeah, that's a zero. Yeah, yeah. Those are it's sewing needles. <laughs> so <he needles. laughs> and is it self-striping yarn or are you doing the changes no no it's um self-striping self it's oh. um huh. it's um west yorkshire spinners signature four ply right yeah cool. and the colorway is candy cane appropriate candy. <laughs> yes yes yes, yes. yes. Yeah. very good Christmas socks. Yeah. Well, I had a pair today that were, I had to throw, finally throw a pair of socks away. They were about 12 years old and I'd repaired them several <laughs> times no. and I've run out of the wool that I repaired them with. So I finally <laughs> have to consign them to the bin. Yes. So no. Time for another pair of socks. <laughs> <laughs> but I am wearing my Franco sweater as I sit here. Oh, look yeah. at that! Well, we have to spotlight you again for that. Yeah, so this is my <laughs> this is my lace weight one, which I made a while yeah. back. My, oh, wow. my lace weight Franco, yes, so pretty. And yeah. can you mm, do you great. mind standing up and showing us the sweater? Uh, if it's no, not it's too much trouble. Well, um, 
You have to pay extra for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get paid extra for that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh how nice. It's yeah. so very nice. Cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it gets lots of wear with one. And that's a lace weight, so that's mm. that's a lot of stitches per inch. That's a lot of stitches per inch, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you can probably wear it in all kinds of weather because it's so light. Yeah. 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 Especially yeah. with the summer coming. Yeah, so it was quite warm today. It was um what were we up today? About 14 or 15 degrees. Um, so yeah, mm. out walking and it was it was nice. It, it didn't matter if I got too warm because it it was uh it was nice. Yeah. Mm. Good. So that must have been on zeros. <laughs> really? I think it was, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you're gonna do? When are you gonna do it, Sumner? On zeros. I have that alpaca that was just aching my hands, <laughs> and I go back to it, and I'm, I I think I want to do it, but I I need a different yarn. Yeah. I might even do a lace weight yarn, but just something that um, has a little give. It it's literally like knitting string mm. or twine. There is zero give to it. Um, I need something with a little bit more bounce. The way that I knit, I can't do it. I ache. Mm. It's it's too much. You're a tight knitter. It's going to be really hot too. Boy, Ron, you changed. Very, very yeah. yeah, sure did. <laughs> yes, you have changed. I was about to say that myself. <laughs> I love your glasses. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Got this guy. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, oh, look wow. at you, the walrus. How so cute. Uh, Are those oh. eye bobs? Huh? Your eyeglasses. Where'd you get Are them? they what? Eye bobs? No, they're uh, from Zenny Optical. Zenny, okay. Yeah, they're adorable. But anyway. Thank you. Will, we haven't heard from you. Well, I don't have much of an update. I finished one of the socks I was working on that I showed last, and I have the second one on the needles. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. man. The, the pattern yeah, work exquisite. is so gorgeous. Wow. Yep. Yeah. 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 That, make, that would make fun. a great sweater. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. <gasps> the black a black green. background in that. Yeah. That would be yeah. nice. Are those for you or a friend? These are for my husband. He picked the colors. The colors are a little too wild for me. Yeah, <laughs> but, I was saying, that's ah, not your colors. No. <laughs> You're more neutral like me. I like neutral. I like Those are crazy colors. <laughs> but colorful <laughs> socks, you, they're okay. That's true. You can yeah. wear colorful yeah. socks with a more toned down outfit. Right. Yeah. 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 Do, do those colors glow in the dark? <laughs> they, they look like they should. They look like they do. Yeah. They really do. Yeah. They really do. I don't think they do, but it's like highlighter yellow. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that, uh, boy, the really lucky bright. people that are married to knitters. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they lucky? Man. I saw the, yeah. the funniest plaque that is going around my knitting group around here yeah it says please forgive me for what i said while i was counting stitches yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i love it it was so funny i was knitting one day and dog sitting and the dog was in the other room and i got really frustrated by knitting and said a curse word and the dog yelped <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't me mama wasn't me. <laughs> she whiz I can't even get away with it with the dog in the house oh, wow. <laughs> that's amazing so yeah I said I was thinking of you because um, I got that beautiful um, Cascade 220 Aaron Waite baby blue for the hoodie the Franco hoodie oh. and 
so just had to make it so that it was not tight because Franco's hoodie's a little tight. Yeah. And I, um, well, that sounds have, warm and fuzzy to me, Sumner. Mm. Well, yeah, warm and fuzzy. Yeah, it was warm and fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> because I was thinking of how many I of those. Just you made. Warm and fuzzy thoughts toward me. That's all right. No, no, they were because you had made so many of them. I'm like, you know, that would be a really easy knit. Well, it's about time you knit. started that. I know. <laughs> I, I lost my place. I was going mental. <laughs> So, so you had to start something else, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, right. So no, I, I was like literally I had to it took me forever to find my place in this. <laughs> if they, well, I just I couldn't rip it out again. I would have literally I would have burned it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, I have to get it out because I'm going to a concert, so fine. Oh, oh I am good evening. Nice Bye. to see you, Serena. Bye -bye. Yeah, see you later. Take it easy. Okay, did Tim do anything weird while I was gone? Yes. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> but we like him like that. <laughs> <laughs> he showed he showed us his seal that he was making for Walworth. Walworth. Yes. Walworth. Yeah. Um, I uh, I even made some neutrals this time. Nice. Oh, oh those those even really the neutrals nice. are nice. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> they are really oh, nice. they're great. And and it didn't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are other new colors in the in the mm. page. They are oh, nice. Yeah, they're they're yellow, they're yellow and green are nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I like yellow. this yellow. It's a sort of nice. I'm calling it steamed egg. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. When the grandkids come over, because I've raised chickens for 50 something years, they all want eggies, is what they call it. Eggies. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's like eggies. Yeah. <laughs> I was visiting my sister, visiting my sister. She lives next door to me. I was at my sister's house <laughs> giving a present <laughs> to my, my great niece. Um, and I didn't know what the, her backyard is exploded with fowl. This, this with what? chickens but, and ducks chickens. before but now there are geese and she just hatched some turkeys and there's like an enclosure oh of gosh. pea fowl oh why wow. do you have pea fowl um, I, I never had those neighbors have them and they gorgeous. were really noisy they are oh. gorgeous they are so incredibly noisy and when they scream in the night it sounds like somebody died it's oh wow like <laughs> neighbors used to have them and it's kind of like nope not having those I don't even know if they're good eating. But. Well, it's almost time, <laughs> I but I'm, I have to so. quickly show. Um, I think I showed this last week when it was being blocked. Um, oh, how nice. Oh, I love that. Oh. Yes. This is, it's just uh, a sample of uh, a trial just to see what it would be like to put a pattern into a yoked sweater, a Franco yoke sweater. So and cool. I got new yarn. And here are the colors I'm working with Ooh, now. Oh, nice. Yeah. There's also um, a darker, a darker, yeah, a darker brown. Um, yeah. And this is uh, Drops Merino Extra Fine, mm -hmm. which is, is a yarn I really like. It's not very expensive. It comes in a variety of colors and it's a smooth yarn. Um, yes. I did... Um, my first uh, sweater that was done in the round, Intarsia in the round. What was that sweater called? Oh, I don't pied sweater? The, the pied sweater, that's right. I'm a Franco historian. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you remember better than I do. That was done in the same yarn. 
So I just wanted to stick that in real quick Thank before you. we end the meeting. Cool. <laughs> All right. So it's been a wonderful time to spend with you again, and we'll see you all next week. All right. Bye-bye. See you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.